Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how you can quickly and easily replace letters in Canva with the alternates that may be included in the font that you downloaded. Um, not every font includes alternates, so keep that in mind. And then the other thing with Canva is that you can't always use this trick. Uh, depending on the font, there needs to be a very specific labeling of the alternates in order for this to work. So if it doesn't work, it's possible that that's why. Um, it's, it's something on the back end of the font. Um, but with Paso Robles, it does work. Um, all you need to do is copy and paste it from font book. So you'll see I've got these two same O's here, and that is the kind of like letter repeat pattern we see so much with handwritten fonts. And the alternates help us avoid that from happening. So all I'm gonna do is open up the font in font book and a lot of times your alternates are gonna kinda like be towards the bottom after the punctuation. So um, your regular letters will be up top, scroll down, get to the alternates. Um, I'm gonna select my O right here, and literally all I'm gonna do is copy and paste it in here. And now you see I've got these two different O's, so I'm gonna delete the old one, and there's my new one. And you can, you can do this with ligatures, um, but basically any special character that a font includes that Canva may not have the ability to automatically input like other desktop programs do, um, you can copy and paste them from font book into Canva, assuming that they've been coded. Um, some fonts have it, some fonts don't, so if it doesn't work, again, that's, that's probably what's going on, but um, Paso Robles does work, and this is how you make it happen. Super simple.